And mind you, at that time, we were also in lockdown situation. So to solve this, uh, we thought, you know, teachers are intelligent. What's the closest we can get to mimicking intelligence? So to solve this, we thought, let's experiment with AI. So I have been hands-on with AI since then. Today, I'm a subject matter expert. I write in the field. I publish in the field. But that's essentially how I got in there. It's not something I planned to do uh, when I was a child. It was something out of necessity. And now it's probably the uh, thing that I'll be doing for the rest of my life. Yeah, because what you're doing is endless. The possibilities and the, the the souls, the lives to pour into with what you're doing is incredible. Like I, I'm, I'm glad that you already touched into part of the reason why I'm so excited to have you here. That's a great answer. Thank you. Question two. Yep. <clears throat> what inspired you to lead the team that built the first digital human AI teacher? So, yeah, as you said, I touched upon it. It was actually a necessity we had. But uh, for this question, I'll like, elaborate on this a little bit more. What we found in our journey, so in our first year, year and a half already, we were in about nine and then 13 countries. Uh, we were obviously servicing university and college students, but we were also servicing some of the most marginalized students in the world. By mistake, mind you, became the first digital education providers of college level in Afghanistan, six months before everything fell apart. Uh, we've taught in Malawi, we've taught in uh, you know refugee camps in Iraq, et cetera. And the thing we found was, I think most people are focusing on the content. I think most people are focusing on the content. So uh, you're creating videos and text, et cetera. But content alone cannot solve the world's uh, education and literacy problem. It cannot you know, bridge the skills gap that we have. You need that teacher, you need that mentor. Just think about uh, first time learners, for instance, how are they gonna make sense of content that you give to them? Otherwise, YouTube would have solved the problem. Free books would have solved the problem. So I really believe that they need this AI uh, sort of teacher and tutor because there's just not enough humans to do that. And if we could, we would have already done so. Great answer, love that, thank you. Can you share more about the mission to upskill 750 million underserved students by 2030. Yeah, of course. Uh, that number is interesting. Uh, so quite a few people ask me about that number. So there are two things uh, that essentially drove us to this number. The first one is tactical. The second one is actually mission driven. So the first one is we've done our calculations. And our calculations are based on the current needy children and students in the world. It's based on the amount of people we need to upskill now. 